don't know what to do with my bike. I was gonna put it behind that bush. If I had a smaller bike, I could. I think I have to just go on top of this and go, go carefully. It'll be all right. Okay, I don't want to talk anymore while I'm in here until I clear it. You can see that. seeing that guy just now. The couch is actually pretty nice looking. There's some beers in there. The people were in here partying. The orange juice. There's a bunch of doors in wood. I want to go in this big cathedral. I want to leave my bike. Just access to the outside there. There's some children on the wall. It's almost frightening in here, but I'm in control. And I'm listed, oh, there's a bathroom. This a water fountain used to be there. Look at this. Yo, this is this place is fucking cool. Dude, I know anything in this was here. Look at this shit. Dude, we can throw fucking parties here. We could have a motherfucking rave. We just have to keep the volume down, way down. Wow. Holy shit, this place is awesome. I'm gonna slowly start locking this place up and just take possession of it, imagine that. Holy fuck. I went past those books and didn't know they were there. Wow, what a wild fucking trip this turned out to be. Yeah, all because I made a turn up. I made that turn by the trees because I wanted to go check it out. And I haven't even gotten to where I really initially wanted to be yet. Which is over there behind those trees. But on the way I found this fucking magical place. like I was saying, imagine I just have to run the bike over to the grass and it'll pick the glass the, did I say grass or glass? because I meant grass, but now I'm talking about glass doing like this, we'll get any of the loose glass that's still on the tire, it'll, it'll knock it off so, I just fucking had this incredible experience in this motherfucking place <laughs> Look, and here's a whole other side that I haven't even, you know, looked at or thought about going in yet So, whether, the, whether or not you thought of it first, 
That would be an epic fucking rave site. It's like a pop-up rave, you know? I don't know where I would have people park. You could probably park here and be not and be not suspicious. But see, there is a, I just want to say there's a hallway there and this is, I found access to this open hallway too. Wow, that was so freaking cool, my guys. I've never been in a building like that that just has like nothing going on. It was fucking incredible. And I'm not going to show the name of it because I'm approaching it, but I don't want you to know about it. <clears throat> There's a bicycle man over here and he's looking. Fuck. So I'm going to go. I have to go now. <clears throat> and anyway. It's a white Avalon. We almost got one of those. Um, there's a couple benches. <clears throat> like a, a couple homies could pick up a bench and move it wherever we wanted it to be. If there were automatic doors there, I bet I would have opened them. And then if anybody looked up a little too late, I wouldn't be there and they would trip. Oh shit, look at this. Oh Jesus Christ. What the fuck? Well, you don't have a, you should have a PhD degree if you're still a theist. What the shit? Figure your shit out. Oh, good. I found a, um, there's a sidewalk not too far from where I am right now, so it's okay. I was worried I was going to have to cross the street over there. That's a Harley Electric Glide. All right, I'm going to cut this video off because the main focus was in the beginning and I don't want you to get too distracted. Wow.